Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex, and I keep moving my microphone in different videos because I'm trying to get rid of those awful P sounds. So apologies for that in recent videos. I've been editing it and hearing it myself, so I struggle along with you, but thanks for not complaining. Anyways, today's video is actually not about audio quality. It's about Dr. Voodoo. And what I want to do with Dr. Voodoo, well, what I was thinking about doing with Dr. Voodoo, and I haven't tested it out perfectly, so I don't have sort of pre-knowledge uh, of what's going to happen. It could fall flat on its face. This could be a disappointment. I don't know. But I wanted to do the weapon hex combo. We've done it with Captain America. We've done it with Ant-Man. We've done it with Human Torch. So we went combat, speed, blast. I had to finish it off with the universal. I know some of you might be tired of this type of video. You get it by now. Yes, Cynic Alex, we know weapon hex, all defense down. That's how it works. But I want to introduce something you may have not thought of yet or you may have been already doing but not knowing the effects that it's having and that is incorporating the co-op skill um and this doesn't work the same for every character so that's why i wanted to highlight this with dr voodoo specifically i wanted to explain the sort of thought process that i went through to figuring out this combo so yes we are doing a weapon hex striker character with all defense down combo in this case dr voodoo has all defense down on two separate skills um, he's got all defense down on his fifth skill right there minus six per hit up to minus 45 for five seconds and then skull explosion is another minus six up to minus 45 for five seconds skull explosion has about five or six hits so it's really not that great for stacking uh, up to 100 percent. it's only going to get you like a third of the way there but spiritual beckoning has quite a few more hits uh, and so the regular combo normally for dr voodoo i'm just going to remind you guys really quickly I love Dr. Voodoo, by the way. I have like a top 100 Dr. Voodoo. Um, and maybe one day I'll go for rank one. Who knows? I really like the character. But the, the normal rotation for Dr. Voodoo, whether you have a CTP of energy or regular damage proc, don't go for poison damage, unfortunately. Uh, or whether you're like me and you have a rage on him, is to go five. As soon as he slams the staff down, go into three. And then as those skulls are hitting, you do uh, four. And you can see the delay on five is pretty gigantic. Those hits don't start coming until... Um, pretty much until you cancel into four there's a long delay on five and so we can use that to our advantage that's the regular rotation for dr voodoo but we're going to use that to our advantage because we know that if the all defense down skills of dr voodoo for three and five if those hit first before weapon hex what happens i'll give the audience a chance to respond beep jared with the buzzer if the all defense down of dr voodoo applies first then you will cap out at minus 45% as seen on Spiritual Beckoning and Skull Explosion. That's right, Jared, you've won yourself a brand new car. Uh, so yeah, that's what's going to happen. And we don't want that to happen. So that delay, the delay of his hits and the fact that you can actually, in some cases, Soul Magic Eruption can hit first, which doesn't have all defense down. The fact that hit, there's so much of a delay is perfect for Weapon Hex to come in, slide in with those slashes. Okay, it looks wrong slide in with those slashes and um apply that that stack up to 100 percent create that gigantic upside down cup and then we can fill it i don't know if dr voodoo can fill it to 100 percent i didn't sit here and do the math on on the number of hits and each one doing minus six but you're gonna have to do about 15 hits to get to 90 percent. so i think that's pretty easy to do it's not bad because you're gonna get four or five hits from this minimum so you only need like nine or ten hits from spiritual beckoning and i'm not even counting the the multiple hits that weapon hex provides even if she hits three or four times you're already over ten percent so that is going to be the combo however like i said we are going to incorporate by the way i'm ranked 69 you guys pointed out in the last video mega giggity uh we're going to be incorporating the co-op skill this time around and what the co-op skill does is it basically um it makes all of your characters jump in and attack at the same time the only characters that don't jump in and attack are the uh two support characters that you bring along on the main team so all five strikers plus the character that you're currently controlling will all jump in at the same time so we are going to bring dr voodoo now the interesting thing is we're not going to use his own leadership because we don't have to if that makes sense if we want to increase his his debuff effect then why would we bring weapon hex weapon hex is going to increase his debuff effect by giving him a minus 100 ceiling um, increasing his minus 45 by 40% is not going to give us much anyway. It's going push it to push us to like minus 60. That's not good enough. We need to go to minus 100. Now it will increase. I believe it increases how much he stacks with each hit. So that is an important thing to consider because right now he's hitting, he's hitting 6%, minus 6% all defense with each hit. Um, when we use his leadership, that should increase his base hit to 8.4%. 
probably that would be rounded down to 8%. So it's an extra 2% all defense down per hit. That might be useful, but my guess is, my hypothesis is that it's not going to matter. So we are going to bring along double leadership. There's going to be a lot of all attack, a lot of increased damage to villains. Um, and we're going to see if this can do substantial damage. I'm hoping for, before we get into it, I want to let you guys know, I'm, I'm hoping to see multiple ba bars fly off of Cull Obsidian. I, I don't want just one or two bars. I'm hoping for multiple bars. Now, to be honest, Cull Obsidian is actually not the best choice for this because uh, he can uh, cleanse and that, that can ruin our day and kind of ruin our, our testing here. But you know what? We're going to try it out anyways. And actually, what we're going to do is... Um, we're going to leave this like this. I just want to use a couple of strikers here. I don't want to go crazy with the strikers. Uh, you know what? We might actually just go like this. So we have two mind control strikers, uh, damage increase strikers, and we've got weapon hacks. We let's just try this first. And the, the reason why we're incorporating the co-op skill is because uh, for Dr. Voodoo specifically, his five and his three have such a long delay, but... Because they have a delay, Weapon Hex won't be striking. Weapon Hex only strikes when you attack. So, we use the co-op skill. Now, in Dr. Voodoo's case, his co-op skill does his fourth skill when he does his co-op skill. So, we can cancel his four into his five, three, and then back to four. But in the meantime, Weapon Hex will have dropped the all defense down as an attack. So, that's the, import that's the other important thing to note. Just so you know, if you press the co-op skill and your character is doing a skill... I don't know this for sure, but in my experience, if you try to do the skill that the character's already doing, you can't cancel. You can't necessarily cancel a skill that you're in into the same skill again. So, for example, I have some trouble with Iron Man and his co-op skill because he, when you do the co-op skill, he does his fourth skill, and then you usually have to cancel that into four again. So I actually do have trouble with that. I don't know if that happens to you all the time. It happens to me most of the time. But in Dr. Voodoo's case, it doesn't matter because we don't want to end. We don't want to start with the fourth skill anyways. So we're going to do the co-op. He's going to do four. Then we're going to cancel into five. Then we're going to do three. And we're going to do our own four. And yes. Okay. So you saw those two bars flash away. So what that was, the co-op skill brought Weapon Hex out. I was a little bit slow. And I think that was part of the problem. I hesitated a bit when I was talking. But um, basically what happened was uh, when we did the co-op, uh, he did his fourth skill, with his, which is just regular damage and, and a regular buff. But Weapon Hex came in and dropped the all defense down. And then we did five and three, which stacked that all defense down much, much higher, much, much closer to 100, minus 100%. And then we did our fourth skill again. So let's try this one a little bit fast this time. Uh, there we go. There we go. And then here we go. Oh, it was actually worse this time around. Interesting. Okay. Let's see if we can uh, get... Okay. We want oh we didn't cancel in time okay that was, that was a bit weird we had us we had a sort of targeting issue with uh the uh yeah see this time he's gonna hit first yeah see so there's much 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 less damage this time because he's hitting first and weapon hex is not being allowed to start off the uh the combo so here we're gonna try this again you know what not that much damage so the the second time around the third time around it doesn't seem to be as good but the first time around, that the two bars instantly, that felt really, really good. I want to try this out on a different boss here. But we the problem is that we have problems with pretty much every other boss on this page. This one, we're not dealing elemental damage. We can actually we can do ebony, but we don't have the ignore dodge here. We're not physical here. And then we all know Thanos has other issues. But you know what? Let's try it against uh Ebony Maul. Let's go down to 70. Uh, and this is not necessarily done. I'm not necessarily doing this to uh, you know claim that um dr voodoo is like a god i'm not trying to make him look super strong i'm just showing you guys different ways of interacting with characters and strikers and different ways of utilizing your roster uh and identifying so here you know you're identifying not only which of the skills you need we a weapon hex to were sorry dr voodoo to do first or or after before or after weapon hex you're also identifying what skill does the character do during the co-op because that's also important. We know when we press the co-op that Weapon Hex is going to do four, Rachel's going to do four, and uh, Apocalypse is going to do four. But what is my Dr. Voodoo going to do, and how is that going to interact with what we already have? So there you go. There you go. Beautiful. So now we actually want to do the two skill here. We want uh, to encourage Weapon Hex to drop all defense down, and then we want to come in afterwards. Oh, my God. Beautiful. 
Wow, that damage is disgusting. Okay, so see, I, I I didn't know, so I had to test it out with you guys. So that 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 Ebony Maw, oh man, Ebony just made me look like a genius. Oh my God, that was savage. Okay, we don't even need Nick Fury. Okay, let's get crazy with this. Let's just give him a regular leadership. Where's Hyperion? Let's give him a regular leadership. You know what? Let's go Ebony. Okay. So he's got, you know, 20% extra damage against universals because of Ebony's uniform. He's got an extra 45% against villains there. Um, and then here on the striker list, we've got these three goons. And we're going to bring along Luna. And we're going to bring along... Mm, so we need Sharon this time around. A good elemental damage character would be nice. Maybe, maybe uh, you know what? Maybe Psylocke is actually a really good option here. Uh, just, to, you know, Psylocke's not there. Whoops. I forgot where Psylocke She's after the physical attackers. Yeah, she's down here. Okay, I think this would actually work really nicely. Wow, and he doesn't even do... I mean, part of this is the CTP of Rage, no doubt. Don't get me wrong. Your your results won't be nearly... Won't be as good. They'll, they'll still be very good, but they're not going to be exactly as good with the CTP of Energy or, or regular damage proc Obelisk. But I still think you'll be able to get really good results, like stage 50, stage 60. Um, and you don't need all five strikers. We did that first test with just three strikers. But now I want to smash this out uh, and see what happens uh, when we use... You know what? I'm super late. Yeah, I'm super late. She was... Yeah, that was bad. So too much talking, not enough playing. Let, let me let me focus on this one uh, and try to get this try to get this nailed down. You, you I, I have to cancel. I don't know why I'm waiting so long after the co-op. Because as soon as I hit the co-op, Weapon Hex is going to jump in. There it is. Okay. Still seems to be a little bit uh, slow. Or it, seem, it seems to be... Well, we, we did go nine stages up. And we did drop... Uh, we did drop uh, Nick Fury for... Um, for Ebony. So that, that, is, that is kind of a way to, of understanding why uh, the damage might seem a little bit worse. We went up in difficulty, but we went down in... Uh, the amount of support, but still, wow, he, so he can go at least to stage 80, and if you get, like I said, if you get crazy and you do this, I mean, he smoked, we saw that, he smoked Ebony um, in like 30, in like 30 seconds, he was down to, um, he was down to uh, almost 8 bars, wow, so you could technically get a kill in one minute, I really wanted to duplicate this one more time with fewer strikers, because I'm really confused as to why um, it seems like it, the dam well no it's the same but it seemed like the damage was better uh with fewer strikers than it was with uh five strikers but yeah he he blitzes this this ebony maw stage um and he can and he can do you know he can still do at least 50 60 on call obsidian uh even without this weapon hex uh you know combo with the co-op skill so that's the last that i wanted to do and cover as far as existing characters go for all defense down and weapon hex if i find some sort of crazy combo for like stage 90 or 99 i will definitely do that but in the meantime this will probably be the last time i do a you know all defense down character plus weapon hex equals big damage video um i, I wanted to specifically cover this one like i said because not only do i love dr voodoo but also the it involves and it incorporates the co-op skill which i hadn't really talked about for Ca captain america ant-man and human torch and the co-op skill is specifically what the uh, devs had mentioned in their patch notes uh regarding that you know it could be changed as far as the strikers go now i'm not saying i want them to change the strikers in any way but maybe it was spe specifically how it works and how it interacts with the co-op skill them all jumping in at the same time and allowing things or, or sort of facilitating combos that could possibly do too much damage or do do a lot of damage too fast not too much damage but a lot of damage in a very very short amount of time uh, and so yeah i just wanted to cover that for you guys just wanted to let you know i love playing with dr voodoo and any chance i get to put some new content out there for you with him uh, especially if it's gonna result in possibly big damage which in this case it did i'm definitely definitely down for that so thank you so much for watching let me know what you want to see next on the channel and i will see you in the next one take care